I am super excited to share this with you. I cannot believe, and I feel so bad, I haven't shared this with you before because these are so important. Probably one of the most important things you could ever do right now for yourself. I'm gonna show you a video sales letter, what people call VSLs. If you've ever seen them on the internet, VSLs are unbelievable. I haven't talked about them before, but you should definitely do this and take the time to really understand this because they're so important. How to write one and how they can make you millions of dollars while you sleep. This thing puts making money on autopilot. One of the guys that is someone I know made $40 million in one year off one video sales letter, $40 million. Selling someone else's stuff just making a video sales letter explaining it and then a place to order. So I'm gonna go through the eight steps to be able to build yours. Anyone can do this with virtually no money. Yep, yeah, I'm not kidding. And you can sell other people's stuff and make money. Now, if you don't know what a, a video sales letter is, don't feel bad. Many people don't and I can't believe it's just something I expected you already knew and somebody had brought it up and asked and I went, uh, and then I realized I didn't cover it. VSLs or video sales letters is essential just for videos and pitching your products and services. In fact, every single company, if you own a company and you your page, your actual website doesn't have some version of a VSL to persuade people to buy, use your product, you're missing out on a lot of money. It usually grabs the potential customer's attention. It points to the pain points in their customer's life and then presents the product or service as a solution for the pain points. Sounds simple, right? Well, that's the thing. It is simple, but the magic is in how to do it, which I'm gonna cover. In this video, I wanna show you how to make a VSL script using eight steps that can generate you millions of dollars in profit in whatever product or service that you're selling. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I am all about helping you make money, leverage it, and invest it. I can relate to where you are. I've been broke and homeless to multimillionaire four different times, locked it in now. I founded 32 companies in 17 industries, bought 17 companies, and had five exits. I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you, you can do this. I'm in a good place now and I'm buying companies with you guys. If you have a 680 credit score, I'd love to partner with you on Epic 99. The link is in the description. You will own the company and run it. I'm putting up the capital as part of my Dragon and Angels Fund. I put up the equity piece so that if you don't have the money, since 95% of people don't have enough to pay, fix their car, I can't imagine if you know how to run a business, you probably don't have the money to be able to put the down payment for one, and that's where I come in. And don't forget to grab your free stock down in the description. It's free. You open up an account with Moomoo and Weeble, and it's incredible. You get stocks. It's wild. Plus, any money you put there, you can earn interest on that as well. So also I've got 10 different loan programs for your business if you're looking for a loan and it's not based on your credit score. In fact, a lot of times we don't even care what your credit is and don't even pull it and don't even put it on your credit report. It's if you qualify, you qualify for your business. So click in the link down below where it says loans and we'll get you started with that. Now, like I said, there are eight steps, not 10, eight in creating a good VSL. Number one, the big promise and the hook. What are you promising? Like, if you're gonna get married, you gotta promise something, right? Like, I promise to give you a good life. Promise to love you till death do we part, the whole bit, right? This is the first handful of seconds in a video when you make, you wanna capture somebody's attention. You have literally split second, like less than a fly as far as attention span, right? Like, we're so busy, we have so much going on. You gotta hook people and focus them on what? The transformation that your product or service is gonna make in their life because they're thinking about them. For example, if you tell them in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to triple your sales or whatever your metric is for success is, and then your audience is more inclined to listen to you because do you want three times more sales? Good. Do you want to make money when you're sleeping? Good. Do you want to make business easier than you're currently doing it? Yes. Well, those are hooks, right? This is going to hook them and it's gonna give them a reason why they should stay around and continue to watch the video, which is what you want them to do, right? Hopefully you're selling something that you really believe in. I've never sold anything 
that I don't believe in, even this video. I believe in VSL, so I'm making them. And I'm not sponsored by anything, and I'm not making money off of doing this video, you know, as far as from some VSL company. I'm doing this because I think it's important. Now, I wanna make sure that you focus on this around the result and not the process. Nobody wants to do the journey, which is really the best part, they want the result. They want the finish line. What do I get when I'm done? Now, what do I mean by that? So results would be them getting appointments on their calendar or getting sales and money in their bank account. The process would be if you could cold email or if we do Google ads or we do Facebook ads or we do a billboard on the side of the road or we send out mailers, which a lot of people don't do that anymore, which is a good marketing thing to do because nobody's getting mail anymore. You'd be the only postcard there. You wanna keep the big hook, the main point around the result that you're looking for. And the easiest way is to think about this. Picture where they want to be. What is the big goal? Where do they want to be? Do they want to lose that weight? Do they want to make three times more sales? Do they want to triple their bank account, quadruple, 10X their bank account? Obviously, maybe they want to do Facebook ads, but why do they want to do Facebook ads? They want to do Facebook ads so they can get more lead. A lead gets you a sale, which gets you to the finish line, which is that profit. So the closer you get to giving the person, the customer, the result they want, the easier it is to generate the lead. All right, that's number one. You gotta hook them. You gotta tell them what the transformation's gonna be. Number two, we want to add a social proof at the beginning of the video, right after the hook. And this is gonna give them a credible way that they can go through the video and know you're a reliable source or you got this from a reliable source if you're not so reliable. You might need some testimonies or stories from other people like your audience or people that are watching or you guys, if you could drop something in the comments to say, you know, that at least, you know, I'm creating some value in your life, which I hope that I, that's why I do these videos, is to help you. Although I don't re recommend that you play the video testimonials on their own, I recommend that you make a quick overview and keep it around the result that the client is looking for. Not some long testimonial about that explains stuff. You can lose people so fast, right? You want to show a similar situation that a current person that's watching a video probably has so that they can relate to the testimonial, the problem that they have. So the next thing you wanna do after you've got those two is number three, is addressing the pain points that your prospective client or person or customer is currently in right now. You know the pain they're in and you know what you offer. Now the best way to do this is to tie it into the testimonial that you just went over in the last part. If you told your viewer someone had used the product or services, they integrated it and reached the goal or the outcome and their pain points went away, the viewer can relate to the image and imagine themselves in the shoes of the customer they just saw a result of. We actually have what's called mirrored neurons in our brain where when we see somebody getting the result we want, we connect with those mirrored neurons. That you're counting on. That's a little more science than was promised in this video, but it's actually scientific fact that when we see somebody getting something, we can mirror that with our mirrored neurons. Also, make sure to give contrast to where the customer was before your product and after your product or service. Once you've laid out the pain points and get them to a little bit of pain or a little hurt about what they're missing, then you go over to the and lead them to number four, which is cool you're going to introduce the solution. This is where you come into the picture. I know you've had it to wait. You wanted to tell them about your product in the first couple of minutes. You wanted it to make part of your hook. It ain't about you, it's about them. Now you're gonna show and introduce your solution. Now it needs to be the answer to two questions. Number one will be, will it work for me? And number two, how does it work? The best way to do this is to give some type of lesson or training. Help educate your customer to become a customer. You wanna step your potential client through the process of getting the result with your product or service. Now, you want to carefully and be careful not to give everything away because then they'll just click off, they'll be gone. You wanna give them just enough to show them the expertise and to show them that you know what the heck you're talking about. And you want to leave out current things to give them a reason to take the next step. You won't leave that stuff out, which usually is to book a call with your team. You wanna progress them 
to the next step. A great tip in communicating this process is by graphics or visuals to go along with everything that you just said. You want to be able to communicate to all types of people because some people like numbers. They just love them. I love numbers, but I also love visuals. Some people like analytics. Other people get a headache when you talk about analytics. Some people love the stories and the juice and the passion. Some people like to laugh and you need to tell them a joke and make it funny like what their situation is and how dumb it is that they're in that situation and how you're the solution. Maybe that'll make them feel good. Now the leads, this leads me to number five, right? Picture this. Now some people are the type of individuals that need to imagine things for themselves. So in this step, you're going to help help them visualize the transformation so that they've stepped into their this far down the rabbit hole. You want them to be able to actually picture it. It's like in basketball, they took basketball players. Some people imagine playing basketball and they had some people playing basketball. The ones who imagine playing basketball actually did as well as the people who actually practice. It's because we have nerve connections that when you connect those nerves, they fire together and stay together. Your customers are gonna visualize what they already want. It's gonna make it easier for them to get it. Now help your customers see the results and show them off graphs, off appointments and being that are made on the calendar and sales that are being made. Help them understand what the next step is so they don't have to fear the next step. This will give them the visual representation to imagine themselves in a position, which is important for them to manifest anything. They don't have it now. You wanna help make their life better. And next we're gonna go to number six, which is a call to action, the next step. Now this is going to allow you to improve the amount of appointments, book to speak, and also services. A lot of people have a really hard time with this one. They're afraid to ask for the next step or to close the next process. The best way to do this is first by a call to action, to have a moment in the sales letter, in the video sales letter, where you tell the potential customer to click something on the page to reach the next step. I know it's scary, you think they're not gonna do it, but you're not gonna know if they're committed unless they do that. This is gonna take them to another page and ask them to enter maybe a handful of different questions that they wanna answer and that will help them get further down the sales process. And if you show them the process in the VSL, the customer will be able to swiftly fill everything out and book themselves for the first appointment, which is gonna be amazing because you empower your customer to control their own destiny, to make your calendar becomes their calendar and they get to choose when they wanna be on that calendar. And number seven is now following up with a second call to action. This is the next one. This is a good way to get the, to congratulate them, I would say on this one, for taking that first step. For them, being committed to the process of making their life better. Everybody loves to feel like they've accomplished something and they have at this point. They've done what 95% of people will not do, which is take action. Most people can't get their shorts on to go to the gym and yet the 5% manage to put those shorts on. These customers put the shorts on, they'll probably end up at the gym. Now telling this company that they're, they're gonna continue to improve if they schedule a call with the team, they'll be able to fill out the form on the page and click to the next link. This leads to perfectly into the last step after you put all this together, which is the outro. This is where you're gonna point arrows, pointing to buttons and forms, to screens, to let the potential customer know it is time to take action. Now, this may be all that you need. These are all the steps for the VSL, but there's still things you might be curious about that you're gonna to wanna to talk about with them. For example, how long should it be? You wanna keep it short and to the point. Anywhere from under five minutes is good. This is so that you weed out the people that won't be a good fit for your product or service quickly so that only people that funnel into it to become clients are the ones that, one, it's gonna make sense for them because you do not wanna sell to people who shouldn't have your product or service. You can make a longer video for them thanks to the, the page, the next page, once your client is clicked through, because anyone who clicked at that point is more likely to watch the rest of the video. Now, where should you put your VSL? That's the big question. You made it. Well, you'll wanna post it on a place where you can track audience retention and that you can see how people are watching on average. This way, you can make tweaks to the VSL if you see that it isn't keeping people long enough or it doesn't generate a lead, it's not working the way it's supposed to, and it's probably, you just wanna make one. It can be the worst ever because then you can start to tweak it and iterate it and make it better. It is normal to be continuously working on perfecting a VSL. 
It is never done. As more and more analytics and feedback come in, at the end of the day, if you keep boosting your conversation and your conversion percentage up, little by little, one word could make all the difference or kill deals. It's weird, I've seen it, one word killing deals. And you tweak that VSL, you take that one word out and your sales will go an exponential long-term and you'll be able to pay for ads that make you lots of money, right? If you pay five bucks and make $100, pretty good, right? How many $5 would you put out there if you could get $100 back? That's always the question with a VSL. A good one, you can spend a lot of ad spend on it, millions of dollars and make tens of millions. Now, where can you go to, for help on writing a VSL? Well, Joe Brinson was offering a training call, now VSLs, but because of the advancement of AI, you can also go to Chat VSL, which is incredible. That VSL is a course that uses AI, and they're not sponsored here, to help you write your VSL script and to help you along. And let's say you didn't learn anything from the videos or the editing, you can hire a video editor to make VSLs. You can find them on Fiverr. You can find them on Upwork to help you get them. Also, you can use NVIDIA AI, which I have a link, I believe, in the description. They're a great company. Advon AI to create full videos using little, little just inputs, just a little input and zero editing, and they'll animate it to be able to help you. It really is simple to start a VSL and generating sales today. I would say definitely just try one. Just try it out. It doesn't cost you anything to really make it. it it's, it's pretty simple. It's not, you just got to do it, make one, see what it does. Awesome. If you could hit that like button, it would really help out. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you like the content, you'd like to see more. Uh, I make this stuff all the time to help you guys out. Please subscribe if you're not. Most people are watch, but aren't subscribers, but come back. So please join the family and don't miss out on the great tips that I'll give you guys practical, optical things that you can do right now to help make you money because it's all about figuring out how to make money because everything costs money in this world today, right? Anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Andrew Cartwright here.